Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Docker on Windows 10 and Windows 11. So we know that Docker is a platform for creating and deploying applications in self-sufficient containers. I will show you how to install Docker in Windows 10 and Windows 11 in two different ways. So Docker relies on virtualization technology. On Windows, Docker can use either Windows subsystem for Linux version 2, which is WSL v2, or Hyper-V as a backend. So if you're going to use Docker with WSL version 2 as backend, here are the requirements. Now the current version of a Docker desktop only works on the 64-bit edition of Windows. Both Windows 10 and Windows 11 are supported. For Windows 10, you can have home or pro version with build number 19043 or higher. And for enterprise or education version, the build number must be 19042 or higher. For Windows 11, you can have home or pro or enterprise or education version with 21H2 or higher. WSL2 feature must be installed. Linux kernel update package for WSL2 must be installed. You need 64-bit CPU with second level address translation SLAT enabled. Hardware virtualization support, it must be enabled in BIOS. And you need 4 gig of RAM. For Docker with Hyper-V as the backend, here are the requirements. Again, the current version of a Docker desktop only works on the 64-bit edition of Windows. For Windows 10, you can have home or pro version with build number 19043 or higher. And for enterprise or education version, the build number must be 19042 or higher. For Windows 11, you can have home, pro, enterprise or education version with 21H2 or higher. Optional Windows features such as Hyper-V and containers must be enabled. And for Hyper-V, you need to have 64-bit CPU with second level address translation SLAT enabled. Hardware virtualization support must be enabled in BIOS and you need 4 gig of RAM. Now let me talk about few more prerequisites for Docker with Hyper-V as the backend. If you are going to run Docker in a Hyper-V virtual machine, you also need to enable nested virtualization by running the partial command shown in the screenshot, which is set VM processor VM name and then expose virtualization must be set to true. To run this command, you need to make sure your VM is uh, powered off. And without nested virtualization support, Docker will not work in a VM and you will receive an error message while installing Docker. So I have two virtual machines, Desktop 01 and Desktop 02. Desktop 01 is running Windows 10 operating system and Desktop 02 is running Windows 11 operating system. I'm going to install Docker using WSL version 2 as the backend on my Windows 10 desktop, Desktop 01. And I'm going to install Docker using Hyper-V as a backend on my Windows 11 desktop, Desktop 02. I've already ran the PowerShell command to enable nested virtualization on these two Hyper-V guest VMs where I'm going to install Docker. Okay, so like I mentioned, I'm going to install Docker Desktop on my Windows 10 using WSL2 as the backend. So I will open up the console for my Desktop 01. So let me log into my Desktop 01. So the first thing, I'm going to install the WSL2 feature on my Windows 10 Desktop. So I'm going to open up PowerShell as an admin. All right, let me type WSL hyphen hyphen install. Now this will install WSL Windows subsystem for Linux and it will set it to version 2 by default. You can see it is downloading the Ubuntu distribution. You can also see it installed the Linux kernel package. Now I'm going to download the Docker desktop. I will close PowerShell and open up Microsoft Edge. I will open up Google and type docker desktop. I'll click the first link from docker.com. 
and I'll click on also available for Windows. Okay, so it has started downloading the Docker desktop installer. I'll open up the downloads folder and I'm going to double click on Docker desktop installer. Now in the configuration screen, you need to select WSL2 instead of Hyper-V. If you want to use WSL2 as the backend instead of Hyper-V. But if you want to use Hyper-V, you can simply uncheck this option and it is going to use Hyper-V as the backend. I'm going to select this option because I want to use WSL2 as the backend and I'm going to click on OK. And now it's going to unpack the setup file and it will install the Docker desktop. Okay, so make sure the installation has succeeded. Click on close and log out. I'm going to log in back. It is recommended that you reboot the system. I'm going to right click on start, going to shut down or sign out and click on restart. I'm going to log in again. Okay, so once you have logged in, you will be able to see the Docker desktop shortcut icon. Double click on it. Click on accept. You can see it says Docker desktop is starting up. All right, so you can see get started with Docker in few easy steps. So I'm going to skip the tutorial. All right, now you can see it has started and the Docker desktop icon is green here, which means it is started. You can see the containers if you have any uh, or the images and the volumes and the development environment. So now you're good to start the containers on this Windows 10 desktop. Now let me show you another way to install the Docker using Winget. So I'm going to open up the console of my Windows 11 desktop, which is desktop 02. So I've already logged into my Windows 11 desktop. So Winget is a command line package manager for modern versions of Windows, which works just like apt in Linux. Well, Winget also does the same exact thing in Windows. All you need is uh, Windows 10 version 1809 or Windows 11. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch an elevated uh, command prompt or PowerShell. So I'm just going to click on Windows Terminal admin and I'm going to type the command winget install minus minus exact minus minus id docker dot docker desktop minus minus accept minus source minus agreements minus minus accept minus package minus agreements. So the minus exact or minus e in short parameter tells Winget to find the package using an exact match. In this case, it is docker.docker-desktop. So I'm going to press enter. Now the installation will take a while, but it is pretty much automatic. So there's nothing that you need to do. You just need to wait for some time. All right, so ensure that the installation has successfully completed. Once it is done, you need to make sure that you close out the PowerShell window and reopen again. So I'm going to click on Windows Terminal, Admin, and I'm going to type Docker space hyphen hyphen version. All right, so now you can see the Docker version which has been installed on this Windows 11 computer. All right, so now your Windows 11 computer is ready to run some containers. I hope you like this video. For more videos like these, please subscribe to my channel.